Right. In news now, when it comes to weather, and we've seen some inclement weather hitting different parts of the world. Let's start with a look at India. At least 39 people have died and an estimated 36,000 displaced as floods in the southern Indian state of Kerala show no signs of receding. Around 300 relief camps have been set up across the state, sheltering thousands of evacuees. The Met Department has still predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall in the next couple of days. Meanwhile, the Indian Army has uh, begun building small bridges across streams to help evacuate people to safer areas in the worst hit districts of Wayanad and Kodikod. Now, Five army columns were deployed along with National Disaster Response Force to carry out relief and rescue operations. Meanwhile, several roads have caved in and bridges have collapsed as a result of the rain. The floods have been termed as the worst in the past 90 years for the state. Now, after the Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan conducted an aerial survey of the state yesterday, the Federal Home Minister Rajnath Singh took stock of the situation in the flood hit Kerala. The state government announced a compensation for those affected by the floods as well. Right now, I am in Tidikode village of Iduki which suffered landslide on last Thursday night. You can't believe that this was a bedroom in which two people were sleeping when this landslide took place. Both elderly people lost their life. Though his other relatives were there in the other room, they could save their lives. The same kind of condition you can see to the other houses which have lost their plinth right now you can see that there is a house which was just near the road has gone 15 feet down. The population of village is 300 and approximately houses are 65. Right now all of them are taking shelter in a inner relief uh, shelter and they are hoping that this rain will stop so that they can return their home and start life afresh. With cameraman Lipin, this is Jaipal Sharma for Vion. Meanwhile, at least seven people have lost their lives in rain-related incidents in the northern Indian state of Himachal Pradesh. Highways across the state have been shut due to heavy rain, which triggered landslides, leaving several commuters stand stranded. According to reports, rain-related incidents have claimed three lives in the city of Mandi and four in Solan. Authorities have also said that the cities of Shimla, Man Mandi and Kullu were among the worst hit. Meanwhile, as a precautionary measure, educational institutions have been uh, shut across the state for the day. The Met Department, though, has said that the region will witness heavy rainfall till Tuesday. After weeks of uninterrupted sunshine, the strawberry season is going strong in the so-called Garden of England. But with a shortage of seasonal labourers to pick the fruit, a trend exacerbated by Brexit, there are growing fears that many may be left to rot on their stems. Take a look. It's summer in England and in the sun-drenched county of Kent, the strawberry harvest is well underway. But this year, it's a shortage of pickers, not fruit, that risks denting a bumper harvest. If you go back even to last year, there was, uh, you know, sort of four or five applicants for every job we had. Uh, this year we're having to chase people really hard. Um, so th there's, there's definitely a tightening of the labour market. Soft fruit growers are struggling to hire the 30,000 seasonal workers they need, 95% of whom hail from Eastern Europe. And while greater employment opportunities and a rising quality of life in Bulgaria and Romania partly explains the problem, Brexit has amplified the issue. Uncertainty surrounding the UK's future relationship with the EU post-Brexit has seen the pound weaken, meaning wages are less attractive for foreign workers. Here in England, most of the Romanians, if they input that Brexit, most of them, they go in other countries or they stay in Romania, they start one business there. And a similar picture is developing in the hospitality sector. In previous years, this London hotelier had no problem hiring waiters and kitchen staff. Today, recruitment has become an ordeal. Been in this industry for so many years and seeing what I've seen for the last six, eight months, I do fear for the industry. 
it makes our, our work a lot harder in the in the hospitality industry because you cannot get the professionals that you want and you cannot get the retention that you want. If the labor shortage continues, agriculture and hospitality sectors may soon show the strain. Agriculture leaders are now demanding the government take special measures to open doors for seasonal workers from outside the EU, as is already the case in Ireland and Spain.